there was a study done by Chatham House. From the 12th of December to the 11th of January, they asked 10,000 people in 10 countries here in Europe this question. All further migration from mainly Muslim countries should be stopped. Across the 10 countries, 55% of those who responded agreed with that statement that we should not let any more Muslims come into Europe. Do you all know this book? Forget about this book. Deny the Forget about this book. No, no, no. This is your book. You better not forget about this book. You better be careful because this is your authority. Surah 47, I have four. So when you meet those who disbelieve, smite their necks, cut off their heads, right here in your own Quran. You will kill me? You will kill me? He is willing to kill me right here. Can you see why he has to say this? He has to say this because I am a Muslim. You want to kill me, even here on camera. He said he wants to kill me. You will kill me. And that's why this survey has come out just this week. I love you. Shake my hand. How come, how come you killed that? I love you. Three million Shake people. I know you did. Uh, you uh, killed uh, him. Uh, uh, but I love this guy. Don't you love him? Of course we have to love him. Because Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. This week we've had an awful lot in the news about Donald Trump. You all heard about the Muslim ban, quote unquote the Muslim ban. And I'm not here to support Donald Trump. I'm not here to support any ban. But this week also, something else came up, David. Yeah. There was a study done by Chatham House. Now Chatham House is the think tank here in London that looks at international studies. So they're interested in what's happening internationally. And they did a study from December, mid-December to mid-January here in Europe. And they went to 10 Muslim countries. And they asked one simple question, few international. From the 12th of December to the 11th of January, they asked 10,000 people in 10 countries here in Europe, this question, or really a statement. And they wanted them to agree or disagree with this statement. And this is the statement they had. All further migration from mainly Muslim countries should be stopped. All further migration from mainly Muslim countries should be stopped. Now that's much more than what Donald Trump was asking for in his transport ban. Yeah, he was only up to seven. He was looking at seven countries. Obama's seven. The same seven mm. countries Obama yeah. listed as problem mm. countries in yeah. 2015. Mm. So this goes way beyond what Trump was saying. This is a statement that they put out to 10,000 people here in Europe. Not in America, but here in Europe. Take a look at the reaction. Look at the blue lines. The blue lines are those who agree with that statement. Now, David, you take a look and you maybe hold it up mm -hmm. and I'll, we'll try to unpack this. Across the 10 countries, 55% of those who responded agreed with that statement that we should not let any more Muslims come into Europe. 55%. If you break them down country by country, Belgium, it was 65%. Germany, it was 53%. Greece, it was 58%. Spain had the lowest, 41%. France, 61%. Italy, 51%. Austria, 65%. The UK here, 47%. 
Hungary, 65%, and Poland, 71%. Now, look at the red line, because those are the ones that disagree. Take a look at the blue and the red. In every case, those who agreed with that statement were almost double than those who disagree. Now that just came out on Wednesday of this week, and that surprised me. I was very surprised living here in the UK to see statistics like that. And it concerned me also living here in Britain, because I don't want to stop seeing Muslims come here. I think we need to have Muslims here. But what is bothering me today is why are people saying this? Why do you think people have this kind of reaction against Islam? What's going on here, folks? And what David and I want to do is to get your reaction. Let's get some reactions. Why do you think almost double the number of people in these 10 countries here in Europe do not want Muslims anymore to come here than those that do? Any ideas? Help me here. Go ahead, sir. Come on forward. Say again? They don't think Islam is very peaceful. How many of you agree with that, that Islam is not peaceful? Okay, show of hands. You've got a few people here, but I would suggest the minority at Speaker's Corner would agree with you. I don't know, maybe Jay, maybe we could ask, who believes Islam is a religion of peace? Who believes Islam to be peaceful? Okay, I would assume every Muslim should have your hand up. That you believe Islam is a religion of peace. Okay, are you a Muslim? Okay, so you're not a Muslim and you believe Islam is a religion of peace. Just a few people are violent, okay? All right. So, sir, I would suggest at least here at Speaker's Corner, they don't agree with you. And certainly the Muslims don't agree with you. You do? No, I don't agree with her. You don't agree with her? Why not? <laughs> because the majority of Islam, the, we have no problem with the Muslim, but we have a problem with Islam and the doctrine of Islam, it's the Quran. Okay, so why is it, let me ask you, are you European? Yes. Which country are you from? Denmark. Denmark. So in Denmark, they were not on this list, they were not one of the ten. Would you suggest that in Denmark you would have the same reaction? Yes, the same reaction. Why is it that people in Denmark do not want Muslims coming to Denmark? Why do you think? And what is that reason? Now, he suggested it's because of violence, but you disagree with him. So what is your reason why people in Denmark don't want Muslims? Okay, so you want, but what, help me here to understand as a European, what is it that the Europeans fear about Islam? I don't see this kind of survey against Hindus. I don't see anybody concerned against Sikhs or Buddhists. It just seems to be Islam that is the problem, according to these statistics. Now this is European, this is not American. I'm from America. I would suggest in America you would get the same reaction. But I want to find out from you people, what is behind these statistics? What's going on? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. What is the cause of the Muslims actually leaving their own country to come to Europe? Okay. What is the cause? Because Why are Muslims leaving their country to get to Europe? That's, That's a very good question. I want to know the answer. I can give you my answer. Because the countries are failing. Economically. Why are they failing? Their countries are failing. Why are they failing? Because every Muslim country is has problems. Take a look at the seven countries that Obama chose in 2015, that Trump chose last week in 2017. Why did Obama choose those seven countries? And why did Do Donald Trump choose those seven countries? Because every one of those countries is failing. The governments no longer exist, except for Iran, Every one of those countries have no government that can vet their own people. Now the question I would ask is, 
why is it those seven countries happen to be Muslim countries? Yeah, because See, that's the question no one wants you know, to ask. You know why? You know why? Go ahead. Those seven countries, they don't, they don't have oil. They don't have gold. So any country that they have gold in the Middle East. Iran has oil. Iraq has oil. Syria has oil. They do have oil. It has nothing to do with oil, folks. Yes. Libya has oil. In fact, that's all they have is oil. So that cannot be the reason. Give me a better reason, but tell me and help me here. I still want to get back to this. Yeah, but those countries, they don't use the dollar. But you're saying those countries are economically failing, Absolutely. What's caused that problem? Okay, why are they economically failing? And would you agree with me that the West has intervened in their countries causing problems? So the West is at fault here. Now I'm asking you a question, like, did the West... There is, I am sure, the West has caused an awful lot of problems, no, but I mean, the West has saying. been all over the world, and there you don't see this failure, Bro. nor do you see this violence. I'm not saying yeah, that, I'm saying that the West... West because most of the countries have agreed to be with the West, whilst these seven countries haven't. They've disagreed with the West. They've disagreed to have intervention with them in the West. They don't want the dollar, you understand? So they... Is that why Obama them. listed them? They, that's, the, that's the reason Is why. that the reason Obama gave when he listed these Obama. seven countries? Well, it's not the reason... Because they're not Western, they're not our friends? <laughs> Iraq was not our friend. It is today. It certainly is when Obama made that list. Yeah, but you know it's stable. You know it's stable. Maybe one day. They're not stable is the reason. The reason Obama made that list is because they were not stable. And why are they not stable? I'm Iraqi. We Iraqis we never bomb America. Yeah. So with 15 Saudi Arabians, one Egyptian, one one Lebanese. What is the problem with you Americans with, with, with Iraqi people? Is it because of money or oil? Come on, answer this question. I'm sure it's because of instability. No, we don't it's have because of instability. <laughs> what about, what, what about that? What, what about, now, can you see then why? There's no evidence that Iraqi bomb America. And no Afghani. What about, it's only in the what about, what about the African countries America. that have got no He's money, no food, no nothing? There's yeah. instability so there. Why are they not there? Why are they not there? I don't understand. How can it? And Pretty much because most of those African countries yeah. do have governments and there are American embassies at those but governments. That, the government but to these six, there are no American embassies. Even Iran has no Why American embassies. We have Iraqi doctors in America. We have uh, uh, two and a half million Iraqis live in America. Yeah. They, Why aren't they, they in Iraq? No. Why not in Iraq? Because you guys bomb our country. Why are all the best and the brightest leaving Iraq? Why are all the best and the brightest leaving Syria? Why are all the best and the brightest leaving Libya? There is a reason, folks. You guys want our Come on, get behind it. Get behind it. Help me here. And you bomb the museum. You want to destroy our culture. Where does this instability come from? American army, when you start the museum, they bomb our culture. They went to the statues in, uh, in Baghdad Museum. The first thing they done, they want to destroy our heritage. That's what they done. Folks, if you want to find out understand, why understand there is instability in these countries, have any of you heard the name Samuel Huntington? No, we don't want to do him. Have any of you heard the book he wrote in 1996? Can I ask you one question? You guys always get the No, none of you have heard it. No problem. Can I ask you one question? Go ahead. You know you were saying about stability, yeah? Could you answer this one question? Do you know any Muslim country that's actually fire, uh, using fire jets going to non-Muslim countries and bombing them? Why Muslim countries? That's the problem. What about Yemen right now? What? Saudi Arabia no, is destroying no, Yemen right now. No, we're saying non-Muslim no, non 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 countries. Non-Muslim countries. Non -Muslim countries. No, okay, you're making you're making my point for me. Samuel Huntington in 1996 wrote a book on, called Class of Civilization. I mean, look at the date, 1996. This was long before 9-11, was it not, David? That's right. This is five years before 9-11. And in 1996, he, this is a professor from Yale University. The book became a bestseller. And he said, look at the 20 wars that are happening in 1996. I'm getting back to your thesis. He said, look at the 20 wars that exist right now. This is before 9-11. This is before Al-Qaeda. This is before ISIS, this is before, before Boko Haram, this is before 
Al Shabaab. Who met Taliban? This is 1996. Who met Taliban? Years ago. Hillary Clinton. And he says, look at these said, 20, we met Taliban. You met Taliban. These 20 wars. Who met Taliban? Them not. 18 of these 20 wars involved Muslim countries. 18 of the 20 wars involved Muslim countries. Who met Taliban? You people. Now hold on a minute. So 18 of these 20 wars involved Muslim countries. Taliban is met by America. He said that every Muslim country was at war with its neighbor or at war with itself. And he coined the term that Islam has bloody borders. Who made Taliban? Islam has bloody borders. Now he was vilified for that. He was attacked for that. As I'm getting it right now, I'm being called racist now. Here comes the, here comes the attack. I will get attacked for saying this. He wrote this in 1996, David. Now look and see what happened five years later. Where they get New York. Uh, uh, he says Al Qaeda was created by America. Yes, sir. The okay. Taliban yes, sir. were created yes, by America. We have evidence. We have evidence. We have evidence. What about the, evidence. What about Are you that simplistic I have that you can be controlled by America so easily? Because they have a weapon. That's why. Who sells them a weapon? David. Yeah. Do you think America controls everybody? No, I think everyone's responsible for the decisions they make. Everybody makes their own decisions. And if you choose to... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. America... I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm telling you. Who controls the world media? Listen, listen to me. Who controls, who controls what you think? It's a simple question. <coughs> These gentlemen are saying that Al Qaeda mm. was created by America. America. Yes. Oh, and so were the no, Taliban. No, 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 no. Yeah. Mm. They're right. They're right. We know that now. History has shown us that. In YouTube, you got YouTube with Taliban. Uh, can you get these men right? No, 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 no. Listen. Was can you get met by Taliban leaders in the 1980s? First, can you clarify yes. that America made the Taliban? Put it back in here. Can I ask you a question? Hey, let's see if Al Qaeda and ISIS. Taliban are created by America. He denies that. He denies that. Do you all know this book? Know this book? Forget about this book. Deny it. Forget about this book. No, no. This is your book. You, you better not forget no, 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 about this book. You better be careful because this is your authority. Answer that question. You can tell us now. When Al Qaeda and when ISIS. You have Cut to off the heads of those men. You have to confirm in that Taliban is Syria, in Raqqa. Hey, Why did America. they do that? Because yes. America told them to? Taliban yeah, is America. Hey. Did America say to cut off the heads yeah. of those social workers? In the Gulf, see, tens of years. Yes, yes, yes. Tens of years. What are they doing in the Gulf of the Arabic Gulf? What are they doing in America? Surah 47, Ayah 4. That's chapter 40. 47, David, yeah. verse 4. What does it say in your Quran? So when you meet those who disbelieve, smite their necks, cut off their heads. It's right here in your own Quran. How many of you know this verse is there? This verse is that we know When you watch Jihadi John cutting off the heads of the people in the orange suit, what is he reading? What is he quoting as he cuts off? Their we are, we are He's quoting the Quran. The Quran. He's quoting this book. You are wrong. He's quoting Surah 47, Ayah 1, Ayah 2, Ayah 3, and Ayah 4. But go on to verse 5 and 6. Because the first three verses in Surah 47 say who a believer is and who an unbeliever is. Then verse 4 says, and when you meet the unbeliever, cut off their heads. And verse 5 and verse 6 go on to say, and he who participates in jihad, great shall be his reward. Not right now. Great shall be in heaven. No, this is in the Quran, folks. Can you now see why ISIS is doing what it's doing? Can you all now see what al Qaeda I think Jay, we need we need to come back because I heard some people saying racist, racist. But that means these 
these people are the racists as well. They're all racist. Is this, is this a racially motivated response? Is Islam a race? No. No, it isn't. Are there many races in Islam? No. So how can this be racist? I'm a racist for saying this. Are these people racist as well? At Speaker's Corner. I can do this. This is the one place I can ask this question. I can't ask this question anywhere else but at Speaker's Corner. I have freedom of speech here to get you Muslims angry. And I'm glad you got angry. You need to get angry. But don't get angry with America. Get angry with the Quran. Get angry with this verse. But there are many other verses. If you want to get some other verses. They, they scattered all the way through. I have 533. I want you to read now. Surah 9, Ayah 5, and Surah 9, Ayah 29. This is what I'm saying, by the way. Surah 9, Ayah 5. Jesus was not a Muslim. Thank God there were no Muslims at the time of Jesus. Thank God Islam did not exist at the time of Jesus. Thank God there was no Quran at the time of Jesus. Because this book has destroyed everything I love and everybody I know. It's because of this book, folks, that it's the problem. That's why we're going to show you what's in this book. You need to read the verses in this book. Surah 9, Ayah 5. Right. Then when the sacred months, when the sacred months have passed, then kill the mushrikun, wherever you find them. And who are and the mushrikun? Them. No. Those who no. commit shirk. No, 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 no. 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 Let me read it in Arabic. Anybody who equates somebody with God Wrong is considered to be a mushrik. Wrong so that means every Christian that believes Jesus is God, we are mushriks, are we not? You are to kill me. It says in your book. Give it to me. You are to kill me. Surah 9, Ayah 29. Go to verse 29. I read in Arabic. I never read the Quran like this. You will kill me? Yes. You will kill me? He is willing to kill me right here. Can you see why he has to say this? He has to say this. Because I am a mushrik. I know you will kill me. But thank God we're in speaker's corner. You can't kill me here. But see, he's willing to kill me, he said. Because the Quran says he has to kill me. I'm willing to die for my Lord. I'm willing to die for Jesus Christ. Okay, I want you to read now what the Quran says about Christians and Jews. Surah 9, Ayah 29. Fight those who believe not in Allah, nor in the last day, nor forbid that which has been forbidden by Allah. Again, from the beginning. What does it say? Fight against those who believe Fight not against in Allah. Those who believe not. And who are they? Read on halfway down. Who are these people? The, the, fight. Yeah. the Jews and the Christians. The people of the book. You're to fight against me. No. You're to kill me. Never. Never. Surah 9, Ayah 29. Surah 9, Ayah 5. He will kill me. He said he will now. You didn't understand it well. This is your Quran saying this. Quran said you Surah 8, Ayah 39. Said your religion is yours. Let's read Surah 8, Ayah 39. My religion is mine. And there is a beast. Shame on you for supporting Chelsea. I love Chelsea, but I don't support what you're doing. Go ahead. And fight them until there is no more fitna. Okay, Just believe in the Read the beginning. Don't and fight them, fight them, them until, until when? There is no more fitna. What does fitna mean? Unbelief. In Vietnam. Just believe in polytheism. There no until there is no more unbelieving. Go on, continue. Just believe in polytheism. Then continue on. What does it say? There is no Vietnam. What was the Vietnam? Worshippers beside who Go ahead. Read the rest of the verse. Read the rest of the verse. There is no more fitna. And what else? Until in the religion. What does Vietnam? We will all be for Allah alone. We will all be for Allah alone. There it is. Until everybody is for Allah alone, you are to kill us, you are to fight us, you are to destroy us. Come on, there is that's Surah 8, Ayah 39. You want me to continue? Where is Vietnam in the There's 149 verses. 
Vietnam they don't like this. I can Vietnam. continue all afternoon. You, you Muslims need to read your Quran. You it is full of violence. Why well, are you a liar? You're talking about Vietnam. Against the What's Jews. Sure, I, think, I have 51. I think this brings us back to the, the survey. Why do people not want Muslims to immigrate? But you are not That's why I'm saying Vietnam. No, no. I will not say that. You understand it wrong. I, I know. No, that if if I knew this about someone who was coming to live where I live, I wouldn't want them to come and live next door to me. No matter what kind of person they were, no whether they were a good man or a good woman, I wouldn't want them. I wouldn't want them to live next door to me if I knew they believed this. I don't know what you are saying. We have no right to read the Quran unless we read it in Arabic. Because there is Arabic here. Can you see why we don't want the Quran? There is Arabic in here. Arabic, Arabic, this is Arabic. Yes, is. Why don't you let me read it in Arabic? I you can read it any time you want. Read it in Arabic. But it can be read in English as well. I will read it for you. I find it fascinating that for a Muslim, you can only read the Quran in one language. In Arabic. My Bible, you can read in every language. No, no, no. You are a liar. It is for everybody. Yes, you no, Your Quran is only for the Arabs. Your Quran is only an Arab God. I can't hear you. And what does Jesus yeah. say about our enemies? He said that yeah. Muhammad will be come. What does Jesus say about our enemies? He said Muhammad will come. We are to love our enemies. He said yes, we do. That's why we want Muslims to come, so that we can dissuade them from the ideology of Islam. So we want Muslims to come here. Yes. We don't have any difficulty because we love them. I love you. Shake my hand. I love you too. And I love you. Shake my hand. But I love you because Jesus loves you. So don't, don't, Do you love me? Listen. Do you love me? 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 I love you too. For the sake of Allah. you say? This man that wants to kill me, does he love me? No, he doesn't. Where does he get that idea from? So where is this idea that you have to kill me? There is only one source, and it is the Quran. Not us. Not us. So when ISIS is doing what it does, yeah, you're right. when Al-Qaeda is doing what it does, yeah. It is following this book. That is why ISIS always supports what it says in Scripture. They always go back to Scripture. And the problem is, Scripture does not change, does it? Why does ISIS and Muslim? Why do you Which means Muslims will always want to kill me because of the Quran. They will always want to kill me. Why does he want to do it? He, he wants to kill me. And there's reason is because he follows. This when book. you kill the people, That's now let me ask you. Say the Christian kill the Christian. Can you then understand the why so many people now what are saying what they say? This just came out last week, and it's showing that in every of ten European countries. Well, but the the vast majority of Europeans just, do but, not want Muslims what about anymore. The KKK? They Answer, do not want to allow any but more Muslims to come. No, this is not a Christian. Right. So why do this is Chatham House. What about Northern Ireland? Put out Northern Ireland on this list. No, what happened in Northern Ireland? What happened in Northern Ireland? Religion. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Get rid of all Christians. Get rid of all Christians. Do you see anybody say, let's get rid of Christians? Do you see anybody saying get rid of Christians? And do you find any reference in the Bible for what the IRA are doing? Do you find any reference in the New Testament? What is their biblical basis for it? Give me a verse in the New Testament that says to kill anybody. Show me one verse in the New Testament that says where to kill anybody. Our day will come. Can you find any verse in the name of Jesus Christ? Last time this liar, he said Allah is not in the Bible. And this is 
Allah, he That's the another Bible. subject. He no, wants to change Jesus the subject. Says, we're not hey, talking hey, about David, that right now. Don't worry about yeah, it. But, but, yeah, David, we're not talking about that now. David, on this, let's continue on. Yeah. Yeah. Can you now understand he, why so many no God, of the people no around here are scared of Muslims coming here? No, the verses we've been quoting are not are not general knowledge. People don't know these verses. So I'd say it's it's something that they're seeing. The people are coming. The Muslims are coming. They're, they're coming from war-torn places and they're arriving in Europe and something's happening in Europe and people are, and it's, it's based on these, they're Muslims, they, they have a, a, a world view and people are reacting against that now. And they're, Joanna, can you control it? They're, they're reacting against what they're seeing and what you've been quoting from the Quran is the, the outworking of that. Get your own light if you want to change the subject. Okay, David, say it again. So there's something even deeper than that. What else is bothering people? And I try to get the Europeans here. Can you tell me now why in Denmark the people will say this? In Denmark. This is Allah. It's the Bible. Why is it in Denmark you say that they don't want Muslims? anymore Which what would be the reason would she, not say? Why do you say this? she doesn't want to answer okay any other Europeans here you're a European where are you from I can't hear you you have Arabic Bible okay. are you European you have Arabic Bible you have your Arabic Bible Genesis the Queen the first the third word the fourth word is Allah. Look at it. Look at it. And when they come to the West, they want to bring in the laws they're trying to get away from. Okay, I'm not let's bring that up. Go ahead. Repeat what he just said. He is saying that Muslims are coming from the Middle East. They're trying to get away from Sharia laws that are oppressing them and they come to the and they come to the west and then they want to institute those very same laws in the countries that they're coming to that they have a problem with in the countries that they're coming from let me repeat for these people that can't hear Muslims who are coming here which includes many of you you have all immigrated here you're leaving Muslim countries because you don't like the laws the institutions because the economy has gone flat in your country you come here to this you country and you set up your yeah. own Islamic courts now. Why, 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 they have 80 Islamic courts why? in this country. Why do they have Islamic courts? The survey courts? says Muslims. Why do they have British courts here? Why you go? Why you go to Saudi Arabia? What's wrong you. with British courts? You know you can after, So why after, have they now decided to institute the very same laws that they run away from? You can't to America. You can't Indians in America. Why you can't Indians in America? You're a liar. You're a liar. And here's another question. Could I say what I'm saying today outside of Speaker's Corner? Could I go onto the streets and say this? Could I go onto any of you university and say what I'm saying today? And show these statistics. Why is it that we have censored anybody from questioning Islam? There's even a name called it's called Islamophobia. You're in front of my camera. Don't do that in front of my camera. You can do it anywhere but not in front of my camera. Why why is it that he has not even imposed his Can you see the problem? Only here at Speaker's Corner are we allowed to say what we've said today. This is the last place that's left where we can question Islam and have it legally ask these questions. This is not a lie. This, these are not lies. This is a survey international. This is what we're talking about. Oh, so the Muslims have made yep. this country. South African, I came, my Even ancestors the thought. They have made Britain. Do you believe Britain was made, made by Muslims? No. Does anybody agree with this man? Okay, folks, can you see why we're asking the question today? There is a problem here in Europe. We've got the same problem in Europe. Americans don't want Muslims anymore either. No, 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 that's, that's why true. Donald that's Trump true. won the election. That's true. That's not true. The number one reason.
reason was because of fear of Islam. I'm making letting Muslims come into our borders. And seeing these kind of claims be made on a daily basis. It's amazing because these results, I wouldn't have expected this. Right? When you listen to the media and you're listening to what the world is saying, you want everybody, Merkel in Germany, bring over millions of people, and now they're there, there's this reaction and people are saying, no more, no more. Why is that? Because the true nature and character of Islam is coming out. Not Muslims, but the true nature of this religion is coming to the fore and people don't like it. And I would say this gentleman back here with the spectacle has nailed it on the head when he said the reason why Europeans do not want any more Muslims coming in is because of the violence they bring. No, that comes down to violence. You have just said you want to kill me. Even here on camera, he said he wants to kill me. You will kill me. See, that's why we don't want any more Muslims in Europe. And that's why this World Survey has come out just this week. Go and read it and look at it. And in every country in Europe, twice as many people do not want Muslims to come as those who do. There's a reason behind it. It's what Islam does to women. It's what Islam does to non-believers. It's what Islam does to our dress code, to our social code. Even to my meat. I can't have ham anymore. In Harrow. In the stores in Harrow. Because Islam has demanded only halal meat. Can you see why we are about this? I think people are beginning to realize the, the true nature. Without knowing what the Quran actually says, they're, they're seeing the fruits of what's in the Quran. Now let's ask the question in reverse. Instead of saying Muslim, let's put Christian here. I can't hear. All further migration to mainly Christian countries should be stopped. Do you all agree? Should we stop Christians from coming to any country? Are any of you in favor of that? No one's raising their hands. See, this is not a problem for Christians. People want Christians. People want Christians to come. So why is it they want Christians to come and not Muslims? And I, think help me here. It, I think it goes to what we're just saying about the fruits. What, what comes out of someone who believes this? I, I have never at Speaker's Corner had a Christian threaten somebody else with death. If you go to their country. I'll show okay. you. Uh, they might get angry, they might get upset, but it's not, if you come to my country, I'm going to kill you, if you say what you believe. And that's what, what we're hearing here. What country are you from? What country are you from? Uh, the United States. <laughs> no. You're not going to kill me in the United States. You can see, he doesn't even want to admit see, his country. That, that's He's too thing. embarrassed now it, to talk about his own country. That's a lie. I am Egyptian. I am Egyptian. So you will kill me if I come to Egypt. I am Egyptian. You will kill me if you come to Egypt. Guys, can you see now why, no, with this no, mentality, no, no, no. we don't yes, want yes. any more? Yes. We are sick and tired of people like you. You can't kill my children, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. No, no, don't say that. I'm don't telling you that. that. I love you. How Shake come, my hand. Shake how come, my hand. Come, how come you killed the Iraqi people? You. Three million Shake people. I know you dead. Uh, you uh, killed your heart. But I love this guy. Don't you love him? Of course we have to love him. Because Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. It is because of what Jesus said about my enemy. I am to love my enemy. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. There's a whole long list of, of beautiful, wonderful things. If you look through all of the chapter 5 of Matthew, what will you find there in Matthew 5? Lay down the sword. Lay down the sword. Well, that's in Matthew chapter 26. But chapter 26, it says, he who lives by the sword, lives by the sword in verse 62 to 66. So here you have Jesus on one side saying to love our enemies. He's shaking your hand, shake my hand. He won't shake my hand. But can you see now, 
David. Why is it that Jesus gives us just the opposite message? What do you say about Trump? What you say it's all about um, being true. True to the, the, who God is and and loving. Love is at the basis. Covet. No. It said don't take your wife, my husband's wife. Yeah. It says don't steal. It says do not let, kill people. Jesus said love. It says an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say, even if you look, even if, if you know, dude, uh, they said I and I for two for a two. Yeah. But now I say, turn the other cheek. That's it. Turn the other cheek. And that's no I and I for anyone. And, that, and that's another thing. Uh, Muslims are driven by the by ideology presented in the Quran, and it, it controls every aspect of life, where it, government, politics, everything. But if you're a Christian, you're not bound to a government. You are bound to the law of Jesus. And where and do you find the law of Jesus? You find that in the scriptures. Right here. And anyone, I've been asked here, KKK, KKK, this, that and the other. That, that has got nothing to do with Christianity. That they cannot turn to their scriptures and say, this is what Jesus said, therefore I'm going to burn a cross, therefore I'm going to uh, lynch people. They can claim it as much David, as they like. You won't find but anything about violence here. You will not Jesus. find that. In the Old Testament, Mo yes, yes, but not with Jesus Christ. Not in the New Testament. Not in the New Testament, and we follow the New Testament. That's it. And what do you say? What does the New Testament say about those whom we hate? It says to love them, doesn't we it? Love, yes, what does do. it say about equality in the New Testament, in it, Galatians 3, 28? It says there's no Jew, there's no... Uh, there's no Gentile, Gentile there's, there's no master, there's no slave, all no are men, equal. No female, no, all, all are, are equal, equal in Jesus', Jesus name. Who I love that. We're going to talk about slavery later, aren't we? Slavery. There is no slavery in the New Testament. No. In the Where, book of Philemon, Paul sends a slave back to his master. And in verse 16, he redefines the relationship. No longer are you slave to master, now you are brothers in Christ. Destroy slavery right there. And, and that is at the heart of what we see in that survey is that it is the, the loving nature of so we well, it's, the, it's the opposite these kind that, of statistics no if the question were asked about Christianity but it's interesting the question doesn't even come up it doesn't even come up it doesn't even come we're up not no trying one to leave to no go one, other nations no one's curious about oh no we don't want the Christians to come but we have now this response and this reaction and fair, after immigration no one's saying this about Hindus no no one's saying this about Buddhists no one's no. saying this about Sikhs no one's saying this about atheists no one's saying this about Christians, it is uniquely Muslims and Islam that they and have a problem with. It's, it's the fruit that we see in society, the world, in, happening in Europe, yep, where we see huge swings. Uh, I was shocked to find out that the highest rape rate in the world is in Sweden. I was shocked to find that out and that is the result of what we're seeing. And that's why we're seeing these numbers swing in this direction. No, to be fair, there's nothing about rape in the Quran. No. But there is about killing. Yeah. There is about inequality. Have nothing to do with the Jews and Christians. Yeah. For he is the friend of them, is one of them. Surah yeah. 5, Ayah 51. I mean, we were just saying we're to love our enemies. But Show me a verse like it, that in the Quran. It, when, when you see, um, it's, I think this is part of the problem is that we're kind of um, weary of speaking about it. Is that, but the fact is, that, quite a reaction today, yeah, though. Um, the fact is, when people with a Islamic background arrive in a place, culture starts to change and it doesn't change for the better it always it, it, changes for the and we we get all kinds of things coming up crime rates are go, uh, going up um, sexual assaults going up and it's a huge concern it's underreported in the media it's not shown so these kind of surveys when the results come out People are surprised. In every country, they yeah. double the number of people said no more and, from those that wanted. And double the number that said no more. And as our friends were saying earlier, we were racist for for bringing up what we we think. That means all these people, all are these racist. countries, are at their and core the fact is racism. Racist for bringing it up is one reason why this can only be brought up at speakers' corner and nowhere else. Yeah. We can't talk about this. But I love my Bible. I love the fact that we don't have this problem in the Bible. In fact. I've said this for 33 years. Find something wrong with Jesus. Find one thing wrong with Jesus. Nobody can find anything wrong with Jesus. Even 
Islam recognizes him as, they love as, Jesus. as sinless. Everybody loves Jesus. Mm. Everybody loves his example. Go ahead, what's your question? Okay. Hold on. I give you Saudi more questions. Families. Okay, hold on. Let me finish up what we're doing here. So everybody loves Jesus, right? That's it. They all love who he is, what he did, what he said, how he acted. What an example for today. It's very hard to shut down somebody who only preaches goodness, love. Uh, you can't oh, have a problem with that. How can you not? No. First Corinthians 13, the entire mm. chapter is about love. Yeah. Matthew chapter 5, the entire chapter is about what we're to do and not to do. And in every case, it is relevant for today. Yeah. Oh, I love Jesus. And I he do. makes sense for today. I hope you're all listening. You really need to come back to the right book. Folks, be careful of this very little book. Get the bigger, the better book. The Bible. Come on back to the Bible. It's bigger for a reason. It's better for a reason. Because it has relevancy today so that even Christians that follow it are loved and asked to come and are admired. I thank God for his example. And I ask and the, the world. God for you. Thank you. Thanks and for getting on the ladder. Thank you. God bless you. Remember, who is the King of Kings? Jesus. Who is the Lord of Lords? Jesus. Who is God in heaven? Jesus. Who is God on earth? Jesus. Who died on the cross? Jesus. Who then rose again? Jesus. Who now is in heaven? Who is for you and me? Who wants to bring you home? What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What a name. I love Mighty that name. name.